is uh, <laughs> Daniel Pivko. He's with uh, a company that does a BMW app, Ultimate Drive. Exactly. You give him your sentence. Spiel. So the Ultimate what Drive from BMW, you can kind of think of it like a Yelp for really good roads. Uh, whether you're going out on a Sunday morning, or you're going on a trip, or you're a driving enthusiast, it helps you find really good places to drive based on recommendations from other people. Works around the world, it's localized in four languages, it's available in about 50 countries. All right, so this is a BMW app? I mean That's right. So SocialNav, uh, we built uh, the platform ahead of time. Uh, it caught BMW's eye, and we licensed it to them to ship as a co-branded application. You do this for any other car makers? Uh, not, uh, we haven't had any yet. It's certainly the kind of thing that uh, uh, we're open to, we're interested in, we'd like to expand it. Um, you'll, why don't I show you the app? Yeah, show, us what, it, show us what it does. Exactly what it is. Could yeah. you roll the uh, roll video, video, please? Jimmy. Please. Oh, there we go. Hey, I have that car. The video, video. How's there we go. 2001 Z3. Right. So it really is the first social <laughs> navigation application brought to you by BMW Financial Services. Uh, you open up the app. It shows you a map, and you can see squiggles, roads that other people have put in. It's very simple to add your own, and you can share any of these tri uh, uh, trips with other people via Facebook, email, or otherwise. If you are a BMW financial services customer, uh, then you have access to all sorts of additional features. Uh, you can get points, you get rewards, there are special uh, images and exclusive offers that give you an incentive to sign up for easy pay, online billing, that sort of thing. BMW um, Financial Services is who you have to pay when you buy a BMW. That's right. So you, if you have a lease a or a loan uh, with BMW. Right. It's available for, uh, for free on both iPhone and Android. Uh, you can download it now. Yeah. So what's the business model here? I mean, you just get BMW to pay you a lot of money and hope you, Mercedes will do it too? I mean, uh, one, out, one after the other. Um, so the, the, yeah. the key thing is we want to pr provide something that's really a good value to individual drivers. So if you have a BMW or another car you like to go out and drive, you want something that really puts you in touch with these roads, especially if you're on a trip, you're traveling somewhere, and you just completely miss a road, and you come back on Monday morning, and your friend says, hey, did you go check out that one place? And you missed it entirely. It's yeah. just it's a terrible waste. So first and foremost, it's of huge value to, uh, to drivers. But at the same time, it provides a way for BMW to stay in touch with its customers. Uh, and one of the things that we just launched uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, it just launched. It's brand new. It's just uh, practically brand new. Yeah. Uh, BMW is, if you, if you uh, set up a test drive on the new 3 Series uh, through the application uh, and buy it, uh, BMW is throwing in 300 bucks uh, off of the new car. So there's some, there, there's some real money going, on, going after this. It a new 3 Series, it sounds pretty nice. It's a, it's a good target audience, right? You're talking to a real prosperous And when audience. we're talking about uh, monetization, uh, um, you know, there's ads supported and there are other, some, you know, a buck a pop or a couple bucks a pop. So it's a free app with ads. So it's, it's free. No, I'm saying we, 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 don't, we don't do ads. It's a free application. For BMW, the big point is they're trying to sell cars. And any way that we can help them keep in touch with our customers and any other big brands that are interested in using this, this platform, we have several apps running on top of this platform. Uh, and so if there are other companies that are interested in working with us, then we'd be happy to talk to them. Yeah, you said there was a $300 promotion of some sort. And I don't know what that is. I've just yeah, so basically if you, if you are currently a lease, BMW lease or a loan holder, mm -hmm. and it's a, it's a loyalty program. So if you want to get into a new 3 Series, then um, if you're moving from an old BMW they'll to a new BMW. They'll take my Z3 and give me a, a, and they'll give you a some nice choice. new car. Look, it's not, it's not going to get you to buy a car, but it's a nice little sweetener. It might move your, your purchase a little bit earlier. Yeah, because BMW's last forever. I'm going to drive that thing into the ground. And, and people, yeah. listen, people love the cars. They, it's a fun, fun car yeah. to drive. It's very much in line with going out uh, with the app. But it's not just for the driving enthusiasts. It's also for you know, just travelers or families or people who are you know, going out on a Sunday morning. All right, he's got, you've got two and a half minutes left. Wow. You rule. Do you have any questions so for the audience? What, um, Want to keep going? If, All right. uh, Jimmy, could you put the uh, I iPhone on? I'll just show you one, one, one more little thing that didn't show up in the video, unfortunately. Yeah. Which was the, the, the audio part of it? Um, it wasn't the audio part of it. I just wanted to show that uh, the iPhone, part there of the iPhone. There you go. Uh, not an iPhone. All right. How, how about a question while, while we wait here? Yeah, what can this audience do for you? Ah, there you go. There's your screen. Okay, there we go. So this is, uh, this is actually a live demo, which is, you know, a little bit scary. <coughs> it's not scary. Only uh, if you're Bill Gates. It's <laughs> always crashed. It right? always You're so 
Um, yeah. So this is, this is a, a, a road that's just north of here, it's called Skag Springs Road. Uh -huh. uh, all of the content is user generated, so it's important to find out how fun it is, how twisty, how scenic. Uh, and because we can't monitor the app from everywhere, we allow people to kind of vet the roads. So if there's some place in Slovenia or northern Thailand or something like somewhere out there that doesn't belong, then people in those locations can come in, mark the road as, as bad, and, and we clean it up. So it's high quality. That's it. Five stars? Skaggs actually has 5.1 stars, it always. Does it? Skaggs Road has five stars? Who knew? I drive that road all the time. <laughs> Any other questions from this audience for this? What can he do for you? I know there are a lot of developers in this audience, and I'll say some money. Question in the back? Right. Do you mean the so time it takes to so drive? So the question is how long it takes to drive the route. Uh, yeah. we, have, we do have distance uh, in there, and really it's up to you as to how long the time takes. We don't record. Uh, it's not one of these things where you turn on the GPS and, and go, uh, throw it in the back and go. Uh, we also have an app for motorcyclists. Uh, and what we were finding was that, uh, first of all, it would just kill the battery. Uh, and then second of all, we want really high quality roads. And people were getting trips from their garage to the good bit of road and then back to their garage oh, yeah. again. I'm sure you have a lovely garage. But uh, I, I think yeah. most people don't want to visit it. It's uh, full of Legos. I gotta bring that other guy. <laughs> With up. little things flying yeah, on top of it. Tons of Legos in my garage. Ah, oh, we, hey, we, can you ask him a question? You guys cool with that? Go ahead. Any plan to use that app for other things besides driving? Like yeah, can you repurpose the app for other stuff? Yeah, you have a motorcycle app, you said. We do. So we, we, do, we started off with a motorcycle application. Uh, we expanded it out into a car application. Both of those branded as ourselves. Then we got the BMW licensing. Uh, and if there are other companies that are interested in, in, in working with this on the car, the motorcycle, then yes, definitely. Okay. For, for bicycles, uh, we use a, sort of a Google Maps mechanic for finding the roads so we don't make you follow the entire road. Just like, here's a start point and here's an end point. And we count on Google to give you a good road in between. Mm -hmm. And the Google bicycle routing is just not fantastic quite yet. Okay. You're uh, not so looking for money, but you're looking for partners and biz dev. That's and right. That's how you can help him at the party afterward when you see him. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much.